Not many people volunteer to slide around on the ice, but it sparked the interest of many freshman teachers. On Wednesday, February 21st, a large part of the freshman staff received curling lessons at Fort Wayne Curling Club. They learned the basic rules of curling as well as certain team building exercises during their session. While learning the sport was difficult, freshman teacher Matt Taylor says that he enjoyed playing it because he felt that it was something within the realm of his athletic ability. Curling is a sport where I think anyone can do it, like it doesn't take like a high level of skill to just be able to do it. Although curling is one of the more achievable Olympic sports, there are a lot more technicalities than one may realize. In curling, each team of four players uses stones, also called rocks, to score points on the ice. Points are determined by location on the target, or in curling, called the house. The closer a rock is to the center of the house, the more points a team receives. Since the ice has a rough texture, the sweepers make the ice slicker by scrubbing it with a large brush. This gives the rock a smoother path to the house. However, the competitive aspect of the sport comes from players battling for their spot on the house by knocking each other's rocks out of the way. The freshman teachers got to experience this firsthand and learned that the sport came with unexpected difficulties. It's difficult to position the stone like where you want it to go and if you throw the stone without any help from the sweepers, as we call them, uh, it's incredibly difficult to predict where the stone's going to go. One particular teacher at Carroll has not only taken a liking to curling, but actively plays it in a league. Spanish teacher Amy Cox has been curling with Fort Wayne Curling Club for four years, and while she enjoys the sport, she has no ambition to pursue it professionally. She currently plays one to two nights a week. While Cox wasn't directly involved with a growing interest in curling at CFC, she brought it to Carroll through the Special Education Program and Champions Together. I actually introduced it to um, the special needs, um, how they do the um, Champions Together, so I asked, I. Um, contacted the PE teacher involved in that and asked if they would like to try curling and so I got that put together. Special Education Night now takes place at the Fort Wayne Curling Club on Sundays at 3 p.m. Although the Winter Olympics are over, there are still events and competitions held at the Fort Wayne Curling Club. For more information, ask Amy Cox or any of the other teachers featured in the story. For Studio 415, I'm Haley Carter.